Peter Dalpenny here with Lisa Ramjit and Bumika Badraju after a heartbreaking loss, last ball loss to UAE to end the tour here at the Women's T20 World Cup Qualifier. First off, I'll start with you, Bumika, and, and then Lisa, your overall reaction on this match and the tour as a whole. Um, so this match is definitely disappointing. Um, we didn't come out on the right side of it, but kudos to the team, kudos to Lisa, the batting, the bowling. I think we stuck to our plans. Um, it's a shame we couldn't come out on top, but I take this as a learning curve. Um, a lot of our team are under 19s, and we have the World Cup in South Africa, South Africa coming up. So instead of get, getting disappointed, I feel like every match that doesn't go our way, we can use it as a learning opportunity and apply it to something bigger. Yeah, same. I definitely think this is a learning opportunity for us. Um, so it's okay. It's, we we learn as we go. It's been a constant theme talking to Sinistri Harsha over the course of the match to match interviews I've done with her. She's brought it up at every match is a learning opportunity. So uh, to hear from both of you, I've, I've heard a lot from Sindhu explaining what she feels the learning opportunities are, but you, Bumika, first. What do you feel is the biggest thing you learn out of a match like today and the tour in general? Well, personally, I feel like I've learned a lot of bowling under pressure on this tour. Um, the past tours I've played were under 19 and the level of cricket just isn't as high as it is here and we've seen that. So for me personally, I think bowling under pressure and playing under pressure, fielding under pressure, batting under pressure, everything, um, it's just, it's a good experience for me. And as a team, as a whole, I think we've learned a lot more about each other. We came into this tournament, a lot of us had not played with each other before. So um, I think it's just about learning about each other and working together on the field. That's our biggest takeaway. Lisa, what's the biggest thing you've learned out of this tour? Um, personally for me, I think it's uh, more towards my batting and just um, building partnerships and just learning my role and uh, contributing the most to the team. You're one of the senior members in the team, yeah. believe it or not. <laughs> You've been in the team now for three, four years. How does this tour compare to, say, the previous qualifier in Scotland in terms of things you've learned that you feel will enhance your game and help you develop and progress further? Um, I think similar to Scotland, uh, our tour in Scotland, we're just playing very experienced teams and um, it's just a matter of just learning, I guess. <laughs> but in terms of, say, for example, some of the teams you played, same teams, you played Thailand and Scotland, mm -hmm. you played Scotland, you played Papua New Guinea, so there is some similarity in terms of the opponent, but you were only 14, 15 at the time, you yeah. had a lot of opportunities to develop and just build your game to what it was at that point in time in yeah. particular on that tour you were primarily used as a bowler yeah here you're in a completely different role ending up i think as the second leading scorer on tour behind sindhu i have to go back and check the sets but i'm pretty sure you ended it as the second highest score so in terms of changing roles and, and just your own career progression and, and how um, you've adapted in that sense what do you feel was the biggest change for you in terms of again trying to improve your game and, and being able to test yourself and measure yourself compared to where you were and the role you had three years ago in this qualifier? I think it's just about being very confident in myself and positive uh, as a 14 year old playing <laughs> against these uh, very experienced teams it could have been a little bit intimidating but I think now I'm just working on myself and my game and uh, I play a little bit more positively so that's something I learned. Just to be, just to believe in myself and just have the confidence to go out there and play. Bumika, for you, you touched on how this is a different level from playing under 19 cricket. And I know the West Indies, by name, is, is a big deal. And, and the fact that you beat them as a full member at under 19 level was significant. But the standard of play that they produced compared to what was here is a big golf big difference what was the biggest adjustment you felt you had to make in order to be able to compete at this level and produce performances that would help to get USA in positions to win you did that against UAE in Dubai and he came very close today so in that regard what do you feel you absorbed in that sense so back playing under 19s um, my good balls were good balls 
and my bad balls were not punished. Here, my good balls are singles and doubles and my bad balls are punished. So I think it's just kind of realizing that like the level is increasing and I as a player have to increase with that level. So just learning from everything, like learning where I can bowl better, how I can field better at this level, it's just it's it's just different. And and I think the learnings I take from here I can definitely carry into the under nineteen level as well. People who are not here, I don't think they'll appreciate how hot it was. <laughs> Especially on a day like I would argue this might have been the hottest day of the tour since perhaps the first match in Dubai. It was it was quite uncomfortable until kind of late in the second innings. So for people who are not here, I'll start with you, Lisa, especially being able to compare it to some of the other overseas experiences you had. Scotland, it's a lot different from Scotland, I know that much. Um, but for people who are, aren't able to appreciate it in person, how challenging was this tour for you from a physical standpoint in terms of endurance and just being able to withstand the conditions? Um, it was really, really hot. <laughs> But I just kept trying to push through and stick to my plans. Um, I feel like, I just feel like as long as I just stayed and stuck to my plans, I didn't try to worry about the heat too much. It was just, it was just something there. It was just there. So. Well, Mika, whether it's Florida or, or Trinidad or North Carolina, how does this conditions in this tour relate to that or compare to that? And, and what for you was the biggest adjustment in that regard that you felt you had to make? Um, it was definitely hot, yeah, as we've said. Um, but I think more than the physical tiredness we felt, it was the mental fatigue. Um, it was just about, on the field, telling yourself, it's just heat. It's just heat, that type of thing. Like, yeah. um, I definitely feel like a lot of us were, were struggling with slippery hands. And as a spinner myself, I thought it was really hard to like get a grip on the ball. So that was definitely one adjustment we had to make. Um, but it was more than I think the physical tiredness. I think all of us on the team have pretty good stamina, but it was uh, mental fatigue because of the heat, and it's just a mental game. So. Yeah. In that point, this is something I brought up with Sindhu earlier. The fact that this was the last match on the tour, and it was such a physically taxing tour, just from the energy standpoint, I felt the energy levels were flagging in terms of team spirit or team energy. When the uh, players were out batting today, the, the chant that was there at the start of the tour that that uh, F O U R four, so and so hit a four, didn't hear that at all today. Um, and then in the field, very very little noise, and it just felt like the team was really flagging in that regard from a mental standpoint that there wasn't as much engagement in terms of team support, or team spirit support to really kind of lift each other up on the field. How do you respond to that? I don't think we were lacking in the term of supporting each other. I think we've been supporting each other since day one. And no matter win or loss, we come the next day and we want to win. So I don't think it was that we weren't trying to support each other. We definitely were. And that's our plan. that was our plan from the beginning. Um, it is hot standing. It's hard standing out there and, and saying, come on, girls, come on, girls, when you can't even catch your own breath. So um, it was harder today, but honestly, I don't think that affected our team spirit. I think our spirits have been high this entire tour, and we go into every game expecting a win. So uh, we'll continue doing that. What's the biggest positive, I'll start with you, Lisa, that you'll take away from this tour going forward, whether it's any senior team tour in the future, or like Bumika said, the, the number one thing you have on the radar over the next six months or so is that under-19 World Cup in South Africa. Um, well, today I got an opportunity to open, which is usually what I do, um, usually the role I play in my local levels, but I think I contribute best to my team when I am opening. I think when I go back, probably learning or uh, adjusting to different roles, coming a little bit lower down and being able to play the same role and build a foundation for my team. So, yeah. For you, Boomi, you can same question. What's the biggest positive that you feel you're taking away that you will try and build off of for that under 19 World Cup? Um, again, I think it's about playing under pressure. I think I learned a lot about that here itself. Um, I don't think I've ever bowled under pressure as I did in this tournament. And I think that's my biggest takeaway from this, just learning how to manipulate my fields, manipulate my bowling to restrict the runs as much as possible. Lisa, I'll start with you. What's the number one positive memory you have from this tour? Positive memory? 
what's what's the most memorable thing? What's your, the thing you're going to take away most from this tour in terms of a memory, whether it's on or off the field? Um, it's always just being positive. Um, on our bus, we always have like really loud Hindi music playing, and uh, no matter what, going or coming back from the game, um, we always keep really good vibes. So I think just staying positive throughout everything. Um, I really like the chemistry our team has, so that was a very good positive for us, I guess. Lika, what's going to be the thing you remember most from this tour? Um, I agree with Lisa. I think our team camaraderie is very memorable this tour. But other than that, I think there were a lot of standout performances this tour. I mean, Finn's batting has been phenomenal. Um, Ritu's catching has been phenomenal. We've had many bowlers contribute throughout the tour, so I think just those standout performances, um, I will definitely remember them, and they inspire me to be better. In terms of things you learned from the opponent, you touched on the fact that when you're bowling, you've, you've now kind of come to the realization a good ball goes for one or two, and then the bad ball also gets punished. <laughs> but just in terms of stylistically, observing some of the other bowlers and how they operate, or Lisa is a batter, observing some of the ways the other players are scoring, some of the elite players, whether it's Sarah Bryce and that match against Scotland, or Isha Oza, the way she operated today. What are the things that you're learning stylistically that you feel you want to add to your own games as, as a learning aspect in that regard from this tour? I'll start with you, Lisa. Um, I saw a lot of the senior batters using the crease a lot, um, especially when they were getting like stuck. They were trying something different and they were like able to maneuver. Um, I thought that was really smart and um, I think I want to work on that. At least just try it, see if it works for me, using my crease a bit more. Um, one thing I've noticed from the senior spinners here is that they have a lot of variation. Um, I think just developing those variations and knowing when to use them, especially in T20 cricket because it's such a fast-paced game and one delivery can change the game. So I think learning those variations better and learning when to use them and how to set a field for them is going to be my biggest takeaway from the senior players here. If you had one message to give to family or friends or fans at home after this tour that you want to communicate in terms of whether it's just the general message or uh, something along the lines of why um, people should be excited and optimistic about the team going forward in spite of the results. There are a lot of optimistic and positive things I can see, but from your perspective as the player who's experiencing it, what are the things that you feel you want to, to share to anybody watching out there to let them know that in spite of the results, there are good things happening? Uh, I think just reiterating that it's a young team. We have so much to learn, so much to grow, and I've seen our progression just through this tour from the first game to the last game. So I think it's just about being hopeful for that and just thanking our friends, our family, everyone for supporting us. We've seen the parents out here yelling, screaming, supporting us no matter win or loss. So I think it's just about supporting us and believing in us. And we know that um, there's a bigger plan for us and just using this as a learning experience. Yeah, I just want to say thank you to everyone back home uh, supporting us. Um, and I just want to say hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Hope you guys are hi, watching Mom, this. Hi, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else either one of you wants to say about this tour? It was just a great experience. I was so happy to come out here, miss some school. <laughs> but um, doing the thing I love, playing cricket, I'm sure Lisa agrees with that. It's just an yeah. amazing experience. On that point, I mean, this is something special. Getting a chance to represent USA, going to a country you've never been to before, those kind of things, aside from the cricket, they're incredible life experiences that not many teenagers are getting a chance to do. <laughs> anywhere in the USA, let alone doing it representing USA. What has been the most special part of this tour beyond the cricket for you? Start with you, Bumika. Um, definitely, we did some sightseeing, um, visiting the Burj Khalifa. That was beautiful back in Dubai when we were playing the Quadrangular Series. Um, that was absolutely beautiful. And we visited the Emirates Mall and the Abu Dhabi Mall, and I love shopping. Anyone that knows me knows that. So I think it was just amazing. I, I felt like I was in my element. Yeah, that was fun. Um, also, we had like this little team game for bonding, and I think that, that, that was a lot of fun, too. All right, Lisa Ranger, Bumika Badrajou, thank you so much. Thank you, Peter. Thank you.